Hey, what's up, people? Welcome to Fancy Sister Doll Episode Two. I'm gonna be doing video reviews for this series because I don't, some of the parts of it that are kind of interesting, even though it's kind of magical girlish. But I kind of look at it more as a card game show than anything, because yeah, the main character doesn't really transform, and she doesn't really do any fighting. So if you you know kind of like that, I guess for card games. And this episode basically starts off with. Sasara, the little blonde girl, kind of trying to teach Yuzumi how to do this natural girl card stuff, and train teaching her like the, the certain rules, the different cards you can use. Kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, they have trap cards, they have power-up cards, the, all kinds of cards like that. So basically, Sasara is trying to teach her how to do all this stuff, but Yuzumi is not really good at it. She's kind of kind of sucks at it at the beginning, but it means given. I mean, she is new to this, and she doesn't really know how to do all the with the certain commands for the cards. And kind of get the impression that Sasara feels that Yuzumi will fail as their new master and she's afraid that they'll just be abandoned like they've been before, I guess. And you know, the two of these characters kinda of butt heads throughout this whole entire episode. You know, there are parts where Sasara sees Yuzumi at school because the girls can kinda of, they can kinda of enter her world. Only she can see them. So it makes you look like a, like a piece of glass and the girl will be sitting there. Or even on notebook paper, the girls were kind of playing around while she, she was writing notes. And they're keeping an eye on her. And Sasara kind of realizes that Yuzumi kind of lies to her friend. Because he has this one girl that keeps bugging her to join this card club. And Yuzumi's kind of like, keep, every day at school, she's like, well, give me more time to think about it. I don't want to do it right now. And Sasara seems... Like, okay, you lie to your friends about things like this, you're not honest with them. What are you, you're not honest with us, so how long are you going to be our master? So this kind of escalates with both of them keep going at head to head at each other. And eventually, Zumi's just like, fine, I'll get rid of you. I don't want you guys anymore. I'm returning you back to, to where you came from. And that's kind of the mission of the episode. But in the, in the meantime, after all that, the next day, uh, a little girl named Akari, she wears like, black and gray. She takes over training and teaching Yuzumi how to do all the stuff, but it doesn't really last very long. So they kind of you know, fight together again. And Akari kind of wakes her up rudely by using these yo-yos and she just like destroys her bed, the sheets anyway, to wake her up and she finally gets up. So that was kind of funny for me. I like that moment. It made me laugh. Because it's kind of out of the blue like, what is this girl doing? You know. And then after all that, like I said, Izumi just gets aggravated with Sasara. He's just okay, fine, return you. And she goes to the lab with her, there, I guess, where they were from. And she sets off a trap and begins the next set of fights. And she kind of steps on this car on the ground, and it, all these other girls spawn. And but they're all dressed like military uniforms and everything. So they're kind of like magical girl slash military girls in Panzer type characters. And they're not really a threat, I mean, I don't get any sense of danger from this series. So, they kind of fight for a little bit. And, you know, Izumi is kind of forced to summon the girls, and everyone else helps her but Sasari, because, again, they're not really seeing eye to eye right now. So, we have a, like a little short little fight scene between the other girls, but of course they get their butts whooped. And Sasari is kind of forced to come out of the magical world and help her master fight. Which, I saw it coming a mile away, and I didn't, would not suspect them to be mad at each other the entire time. Because that would get bored, boring after a while, if that happened. And it kind of made quick work of them. Yuzumi actually uses the trap cards, and, you know, does it successfully, and helps Cesar win, and, you know, to get... And I guess when they beat other magical girls, you get cards, and I guess you add them to your team. Which is kind of interesting, they did show, like, the girl from the first episode that she captured. And the whole military team, so... Eventually, I, I can suspect the whole world will be, you know, full of magical girls in her, you know, cell phone type thing. It's kind of weird. And after that, they kind of explore the lab a little more, and they find... Like, one of the girls sets off a trap, and they find this, you know, I guess, hidden room with all these cards. So it's all these cards that she can just... Like, I'm not sure she took all of them, but I think she took maybe a few of them. And there's this, like, tuxedo mask looking dude, he's kind of a mystery, I, I think he's her homeroom teacher for Yuzumi, so he's kind of keeping an eye on her, but in disguise, 
So sort of. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And he's he explores the lab room with the cards, and he finds his room. It's like he tries to open, it's locked, or it prevents him from opening it. And I guess he looks at it as maybe he's not high enough to level to get into there or something. I'm guessing Yuzumi is the one that has to open the door eventually to get the other cards. Or it's some secret government thing that they're just keeping hidden from everybody. Either way, it's, it's strange for me. And of course, at the end, Sasara and Yuzumi make up and they're happy friends again. Whatever, it's fine. Like I said, I didn't expect them to be all, you know, evil and messed up the entire time with each other. And close to the end of the episode, it ends with Yuzumi walking home with Sasara and they bump into her, her friend from the school that kept the card game girl, the kids bugging her. And she pulls out her phone and says the magical spell and gets ready to summon her card magic chick. And the main girl's kind of shocked, like, what? Like, this is impossible. You're, you're part of the, that team, too? So, yeah, it's kind of weird. And that's where the episode ends, with her kind of, like, shocked that her friend is challenging her to a fight in front of her house. So, for, for me, for the extra things in this episode, it was just like, like I said, the yo-yo thing was kind of funny, kind of random. And it was kind of, you know, animated pretty well. You know, so I'm looking forward to the fights in the future of the series. Even though I'm not really holding my breath for that, but the opening does show kind of cool fight scenes here and there. So, that's pretty much the only extra thing from this episode. And I guess the preview would be using me versus her friend next week. So, I guess that will be the next episode, but episode 3. So, I'll see you guys until then. Later.